Hello ladies and gentlemen frogs, my name is XAMK, I pick Buggy, you can call me Dan. Today I, I'm very ill, but today I'm bringing you a Modern Warfare 2 map tier list. Now, Modern Warfare 3 comes out tomorrow as of this video's recording, I'm definitely going to try and get this up Thursday today. As you can tell, not well, so do apologise for that. Let's just get straight into it, you know how we're doing this. Alphabetical order, naming the maps, we've got Instant Classic, Great Map, It's Alright, Bad, and then Git in the Bin. Leave a like if you have enjoyed and subscribe for some Modern Warfare 3 content coming very soon. We're going to start with Alboran Hatchery, very fun map, very wide open. You've got the sniper lanes as well as the, all the sniper buildings as well as a few laneways. I have a lot of fun playing it. I wouldn't say it's an instant classic but I'm just going to throw it right into the great map category for now. Albagra Fortress, this is also a war zone location. It's okay, like I'm not... I'm, I'm not overly fond on it. I do think once one team's got one side covered, especially like the buildings and the laneways, it is difficult for you to sort of push through. So they are sort of holding you back in the spawn. I am going to put this in It's All Right for now. I'm like a, a lot of people, I, I guess, would have different opinions. If you do want to use this tier list, it is on tier list maker. I'll leave a link in the description. I've made this one myself, but I'm pretty sure there are a few others. I couldn't see any others, so I sort of made this one myself. Next one, black gold. Now this map is a good idea. This map is a very good idea. It's a very good conceptual idea. As a map itself, it is terrible. I do not like the fact that you're in the dark. I think if they would have done like they did with Makin on World of War, like they do with a few maps in Black Ops 4, if they had put this map in a daytime mode as well as a nighttime mode, it would have done just a little bit better, but it's it's got to get in the bin. It has to be one of the worst maps to play. Moving on to Breenberg Hotel. This map is a very inside closed map. You've got the big outside areas and then you've got like the more inside areas where people camp. Again, I'm going to go with it's all right. I'd say Albagra Fortress is better, but I'm gonna say it's all right. It's the enclosed map, which sort of, I, I know you need more maps inside, you can't have them all outside, but it does sort of take away a bit. And it's a very, like a Modern Warfare 2 is a camper fest, but this one, people do like to just camp that little bit more in the corners. Next one is Crown Raceway. This is a Formula One-esque rally car circuit. I think this is a really great map. I wouldn't say it's instant classic. I wouldn't say it's all right. I do think it's a really great map. I think it's even probably the best one so far. I like that there's that big open laneways on either Either side I do like there's that middle area where and it's a map where apart from that like right hand side in the center you don't have to camp as much so it is it's a great map and I really love playing Crown Raceway it's definitely one of the more favored maps on the game moving on to the next one dome now dome we've seen in modern warfare 3 ghosts as Strike Zone. We've seen it in Infinite Warfare as Genesis. We've also seen it in Ghosts as Unearthed. There have been multiple remakes of Dome. It is a very popular map. For this game, it's alright. And I'm going to say why it's alright. It's because, put it at the top of alright, but for, for this one, it just seems like it's very copy and paste. Like, I think if you are playing this, like this is your first Call of Duty, you're putting this high on the list. For me, I've played this map so many times and it's just, it's alright, like, I, I, it's alright, I can't say anything positive, I can't say anything negative, it is just mid. Moving on to DRC Zone 1, this map is, it's, it's alright, I'm going to put it in alright as well, because it's a very huge building map, you've got some really cool areas, I like the vent, which you've got, I think more maps should have that sort of ventilation shaft idea, but then you've got like a lot of laneways and it sort of the map does seem a bit samey if that makes sense it just seems like you're going around the same corner again I just think it's a very plain it's an alright map I wouldn't say no to playing it but I would put it at the bottom of it's alright next we have Ella Silo now this map is a very big map where you've got the big hill and then you've got the big building it was made for the Halloween DLC um, edition haunted as the other one we'll get onto afterwards but you've got a very big building camper uh, place for people then you've got that big laneway up the top I'm going to say 
I'm going to put it great map, and I'm going to put it right there in between those two, because I think, it, like our Boron Hatchery, it's a big map, but it doesn't feel like a big map, if that makes sense. It really has that multiple things of maps, like it's one of those maps you really want to play a bit more, because you've got sniper lanes, you've got inside areas, if you're shotgunner, if you're submachine gun, you play inside, if you're AR to LMG to sniper, you play outside, it has something for everyone, and that's what all maps should be inclusive of when it comes to designs for good maps. Next one, Embassy. Now, initially playing Embassy, I thought it was alright. I would have initially put it as alright, but after all the maps that came out, I've got to put it in bad, and the reason why is because it is one of those maps where it's just not got a lot to it. I wouldn't say it's terrible, but it just, it's lacking a few things. You've got windows covering the mid area, but then the windows the map feels like it's cutting off a lot of stuff. It's not as open and the buildings really do cut off the map completely. And I know you've got to have diversity and range, but it just, it's not for me. Moving on to Farm 18, this is going instant classic. I think this is going to be, as you can see, it's one of the maps that's coming into Modern Warfare 3. It's just so much fun. You've got that middle shoot house area, you've got the building on the side, you've got the laneway on the other side, and then you've got the camper spots. And I know I keep saying camper spots are bad, camper spots are good. But I just love Farm 18. It feels like a map you've played already. Like, I, I, you haven't played it already, but it, it just has that feel where you just want to play more and more of the map, and the more you play, doesn't get old, doesn't feel repetitive. But the way Farm 18's la laid out, it just works. I think it's perfectly an instant classic. We're going to be seeing a lot more of it in future Call of Duties to come. Moving on, we've got Himmel Map Expo. This map has a big open area with a swimming pool but then it's mainly done inside you've got the cinema i think it's sort of a re resort or a retreat i've not looked too much into the back history of this map where would i put it in all right in relation i put it there i think in between breenberg hotel and drc zone it is all right where you've got this middle bit here where people do like to sit and control the map but you've also got the bit to the left hand side and you've got the inside bit as well and people do like playing this map i think it is good for a multitude of people and a multitude of players and I didn't think it was all that bad. Next we have Coro Village, this was one of the latest maps to be added. So this was a remake of a Call of Duty 2 map called 2Jane and I did not know this until I saw a video on YouTube showcasing that it was actually a remake because it did seem familiar. I was like I have seen this map before, I haven't played COD 2 but I had seen this map before. I would say it holds up as a remake, I'm glad they brought it back and I'm going to put it there in great map. You've got the buildings you can climb on top of, you've got laneways, you've got a big open area and you've also got that little building camp a bit on the left here where you can sort of control the area. I have a lot of fun playing this map. I think it's one of those maps which is very underappreciated and I just think it's amazing. On to the next map. I um, have to be really careful with how I pronounce that. Could get, I'm, I'm just gonna say K District, okay? Just Keep it, keep it at that, K District, so it doesn't get clipped or anything. I think this is an instant classic. This map, I get from like what I've said about other maps, like Albagra Fortress, you can sort of hold the map, but I just love this map. I think this map is astoundingly good. You can go across the water on the left hand side, you can play the laneway on the right hand side. I just love it. I think, I think it's just an amazing map, and it's definitely one of my favourites in the actual Call of Duty. Moving on to La Casa. This is going to be a very controversial opinion, but I'm going to put it there. I think it's bad. I think it's an actual really bad map. I'm not a fan of the design. I'm not a fan of this middle like ledge over here. I think this map's just too... You can't, you, it's too small, you can't really access a lot of places. It's got too many choke points. I'm really not a fan of this map. I think it's absolutely terrible. Uh, on the next one, we have got Mikado. And Mikado, I, I'm going to put it as an instant classic. I'll put it above K District. Mikado is just amazing. I really like this map. Big laneway down the middle makes sense. The building on the left hand side makes sense. The warehouse. It's too overpowered, there's too many people there. I think this is just an amazing map. I think they've done really well, and it is in a ground war map. Can't remember the name of it, but it's in a ground war map, and I think it is very fun to play. I just think it's really cool. I am I love playing this map. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, we've got Peleo's Lighthouse, and I think I speak for the 
entire COD community where it can go just right there with black gold. Not the worst map in the game. It's not just because it's at night time because we do have Crown Raceway all the way up here in the great map category. It's a very big map, which I'm not, I, I don't mind big maps in 66. It's a big map where 99% of the action takes place in the building. And if you've got that for a map where you've got about 5% of the map is when 99% of the action happens. You don't need the extra 95% of the map. It really does just suck as a map. And it's a shame because I actually think it could be more of a better map. Moving on, we've got Punta Mar. Punta Mar came in like mid season, mid to late season. You play essentially in this big street area. I think it's actually all right. I would put it as top of all right. I think it's better than Dome. I wouldn't put it as a great map, but I think it is all right. You've got that building which everyone camps in. The majority of the map's played all around. You know, you've got more people moving around the map than just sitting in one corner or just using that one building like Paleo's Lighthouse. Moving on to the next map, we have got Santa Cena Border Crossing. This one got nerfed because people were complaining about the vehicles exploding and they didn't like it so they stopped the vehicles blowing people up. I think that took away from the map personally, but it, it, it is it is going to have to um, sadly just go um, get in a bin. I wouldn't say it's as bad as these two maps. It's one of those maps where it just sucks and not a lot of people like it. I didn't like it. I will play it, but I don't like it. The whole traffic thing's too congested and I think it is probably the worst map we had on release. Moving on to shipment. It is going there. Bottom of it's all right. We've had too much of it. I think if you're grinding for gold camos, it's it's like there. If we're talking about gold camos in game, it is there. It's top of instant classic because you can get gold guns easily. It's an easy way to get gold guns. Apart from that, it's all right. It's not 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 an awful lot to say about it. Shoot house again. It is going there just ahead of shipment because it's all right. We we've, we've played shoot house. We played shipment. It, it's all right. I I'm sick of seeing shoot house and shipment constantly being brought back into Call of Duties because they're good. Same with Nuketown, same with like all the other maps we've had remade a million times when there are more better maps you can put into the game. Um, moving on, we've got another map remake which we hadn't seen for some time, Showdown. This is from COD4. I think this is a really great map to put it there. Oh, no, let's put it Let's put it there. I think it's a really great map, especially in this game. The long laneways and the middle bit work perfectly. I love how this map feels. I love how this map plays. Campers aside, I think it's just an incredible map that works even better, I'd say, on COD 4. On Modern Warfare 2, I think it works really, really well. On the next one, we've got Strike. And again, I'm going to put Strike, I think, just a few notches ahead. Strike's definitely going to go here. I had so much fun playing Strike. When they brought back Strike, which is another COD 4 remake, my initial thought was, why, they, why, like, why is this map in the game? I didn't have fun playing it in COD 4, but after playing it in the Modern Warfare 2 version, I think it's incredible. Next one, we have Tarak. This one is going at the bottom of Great Map. I actually do like this map. I think it's amazing, especially if it's, I know it's just a sniper map, but compared to sort of sniper maps we've had in previous Call of Duties, I do think this one is one of the better ones. I wouldn't say it's as good as Alboran Hatchery, but I do love it. Next one, we've got Valdera's Museum, and this one is going to go, I'd say there. We got it taken out of the game because of copyright reasons, and then it got brought back in. We had it in the beta, and it's just one of those big maps where there's something for everyone. You've got the sniper lanes, you've got the close quarter combat, and the design's just amazing. I do love the design of the map. I love the feel for the map. It's one of those really big maps that is just really, 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 really good. Moving on to Vondale Waterfront. This is another great map. This is, <laughs> this is a problem. Uh, I've got too many great maps here. Um, Vondale Waterfront, though, I think is going to go there. Like, it's a very great map. I do have a lot of fun playing it. Or oh, actually, no, I'll put it there. I love the water aspect to it. I love the fact that water plays a massive part. You can flank people, you can go under the water as play the normal map itself, which you don't see in a lot of Call of Duties. And for that being said, the final one, Zagua Hydroelectric, is going second best. I just... This map just feels like a brilliant Call of Duty map with the overhead laneways, with the big area, as well as the building and 
the middle area as well. Just the underwater bit just adds that extra layer. I wouldn't say it's as good as Farm 18. The water layer just adds that extra layer to the map where you can sort of flank behind the enemy and you don't have to be stuck on the surface, which is what I think a lot more Call of Duty's should do. I'm just gonna go through, double check, I'm happy with everything. Instant Classic, we have Farm 18, Zagra Hydroelectric, Mikado, and K District. On great maps, we've got Crown Raceway, Strike, Covo Village, Valdera's Museum, Ella Silo, Showdown, Mondale Waterfront, Alboran Hatchery and Tarak. It's all right, we've got Puntamar Dome, Albagra Fortress, Breenberg Hotel, Himmelmat Expo, DRC Zone 1, Shoothouse and Shipment. On bad, we've got Embassy and La Casa, and get in the bin, we have got Santa Siena Border Crossing, Peleo's Lighthouse, and Black Gold right at the bottom. I am more than happy with that. Let me know your opinion down below if you do want to do this tier list as well, and tweet at me. Twitter's in the description. I'd love to see your opinions on this. Thank you for watching. Stay epic.